Welcome to Happy Hour. I'm Tracy Burns, in for Rebecca Diamond, who's out on assignment. This is Cody Willard. This is Eric Bowling. These are my yin and yang. <laughs> Should be harmony by the end of the show. But the sailors Wishful are here, thinking. and that's really all that yeah. matters. It's Flea Week here in New York. Thank God. All right, there was really light volume today ahead of the holiday weekend. And ton of stocks lost are by half a percent. All right, top shelf on happy hour today. Here's a good reason this, Marcus, is a dangerous place for anyone but the pros. Sears, yes, I said it, Sears, gaining double digits today after posting a surprise profit. Yeah, profit. Wall Street expecting a loss, so it was a sound beat. And you, thought the, you think the experts caught that move? Uh, I, I, it's tough for them, too. Nuts. You're right. But as one report put it today, with 11.5% of the stock sold short and, un <laughs> and an unusually high volume of trades in put options, those are, option those are options that people place when they think a stock is going to fall further. To sell a stock at $50 in recent months, many are no doubt scrambling today for shares to cover their bearish stance, given that 70% of the stock is in the hands of insiders. Now, if you're confused, that's the idea. They want you to be confused so they can make a little money. The risk. So we got to keep it simple. We're going to answer a couple yeah. good questions from our happy hour viewers. All right, we have two good ones. Alan in Minnetonka wants to know how. All right. I'm paying it already. When was the last time you drove a car? Oh, I drive, but I'm. I, I actually. What do you drove drive? Weeks. That fascist yeah, regime. Yeah, driving a I can't. Yell, I, I can't buy That's driving why you can't cars. A house. Driving. You're spending all your money on a car. Oh, my Dear God. Lord. Getting off Get rid topic. of the car. Buy a house. Oh my. All right. God. I'm building equity in my Beamer. <laughs> House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats engaging in a full-on filibuster mode today. In a 30-minute weekly news conference, reporters weren't able to get in a question until, get this, minute 25. Sort of like our show. Pretty much. And when reporters... <laughs> to make money where you actually understand the accounting somewhat in the United States, you should not ever try and game China, Brazil, India. Stay away from it. It's he's hard right. He's, stick on he's right. This is a hit. You should never try and game it unless you... Hey, it's, it's been on kind of a tear. It's been up. All right. A business report today talking about how deodorant brand Axe is sponsoring a Hamptons nightclub for the entire summer. Swear. The Hamptons are one of New York's semi-upscale summer party, semi-upscale, way upscale summer party scenes. Axe wants to be the brand associated with, and this is their words, mating. But as the report says, the only problem is that 21-year-old guys are having trouble finding jobs, let alone paying a party in the Hamptons. Is this a miss? I say this is a total hit because 21-year-old men looking to hook up are going to find the money to get in and play. That's a hit. He's, look, I put it on. I had three girls follow me over here. <laughs> Amazing. I'm married. I tried. Back in my day, it was polo. I, I tried to get all three of those girls' numbers. There got, you go. That's why. Like all right. Back to House Speaker Pelosi. She's going to China next week. She's been a big critic of the Chinese. But she might like what they're saying now about how Americans should pay for Chinese uh, carbon dioxide emissions. Now, we'll wait and see. And she might be trying to escape all the CIA controversy that we were talking about earlier. So will Pelosi be a hit or miss when she gets back from Asia? I'm, I, I'm sorry, I got to miss. It's an I utter miss, miss all thing Pelosi. Well, I, I, it's another miss. I hate all things Illuminati, Republican, Democrat. <laughs> anyway, miss. On to more of Washington. Treasury Secretary Geithner reportedly calling for, quote, very substantial changes in Wall Street pay. Sounds like he's looking for standards, not hard pay caps. But nevertheless, I, got, I still have to say this is a total miss on curtailing Wall Street pay. Stay out of it. Eric, you agree? Uh, agree. Listen, miss, keep. <laughs> I'll take a bit <laughs> on this one. You know why? I mean, it it's worse. Decide. No, you know what? I want to destroy every company that is on welfare. Bank of America, Citigroup, take your money out of them, quit if you work there, destroy these companies, sell their stock, get out, fix the system. It's the only thing that'll help. The only thing that will help is if you sell your BMW and buy a house. Now get ready to grill, everyone. It's Memorial Day weekend. The health food experts are advising you to grill low-cal. Pile high, they say, your plate with eggplant, portobello mushrooms, and peppers for a big old veggie feast. My kids would go starving. <laughs> Leave your bun behind and do a burger lettuce wrap. They insist it tastes just as good. Have a veggie burger and some pasta salad, too. All right, I actually like this food, so I'm gonna say it's a hit. If you're serving adults, if you're serving children, don't bother. I'm a hit. I'm all for it. They eat healthy. Look, your kids, they only eat healthy, too. They're gorgeous. They are. They're beautiful, but beautiful kids. We'll see more of you them try to get a vegetable down any one of those throats. 